What's up, everybody? It's James here from the Sawyer Family Reviews channel. Today is Wednesday, November 29th, 2023, and this is the weekly comic book pickups video. Every week I buy comic books. I get it for myself. I get it for my kids. I get it for Queen City Comics in Fairfield, Ohio. Zip code 45014. If you're in the area and into comic books, check out the comic shop. And while you're in the area, go a mile down the road and go to the toy department. All right, let's jump in. A couple old things and a bunch of new things. Let's see. So here's a couple old things. Um, Gracie, I, the other week, Hades came in. And I asked Gracie, do you know what Hades issues you've got? And she said, I think I've got two. But I don't think she had two. So I went back and looked through the videos, and I couldn't see where I got her number two. But maybe I got it on a Friday. I don't remember. Um, but the fourth issue just came out recently, and I hadn't bought it because I didn't know where she was at. And I think maybe it is that this issue came out on the week we were at Disney. So maybe that's what happened. So I grabbed her two and three. I know she doesn't have three. I'm pretty sure she doesn't have two, but she said she thinks she does. So if I've already shown you this one, sorry. It was $3.99. It's Hades. It's a Disney book. Um, and then this one's old as well. Also $3.99. And then the fourth issue is out as well. These are by Elliot Kalan and Alessandro Rinaldi doing the art. I think it's the same on all the issues. Uh, so I have to figure out for sure if she had that or not. But if she did have it, then we've got an extra one now. And then we're going to get caught up. So that's Gracie, and that's the old books for the week. Now for new this week, we've got Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi number three. I went with this cover. There was another cover too where I had that droid carrying him. I wasn't a big fan of that one. Uh, this is $4.99, and we've got a creative team of Jody Hauser writing, Salvador La Roca doing the art. There's some sirens going on in the background. Uh, I liked Obi-Wan Kenobi, the show. I've said this before. I enjoyed it. Could it have been edited a little bit more? Maybe not have been that many episodes? Sure, but I didn't enjoy it. I liked it, um, especially all the Anakin stuff. And I'm a big fan of adaptations. I like comic book ad adaptations. As a kid, I really liked comic book adaptations. So I'm fine with buying them. I'm, I enjoy them. I'll buy them. If it's a show I like, I'll buy it. Um, next up, we've got Marvel Zombies. Black, white, and red for Keaton. This is number two. Uh, $5.99. Doesn't even really feel like a $5.99 book. What can you do? Uh, so we've got Under the Eye of an Unkind Future, Gail Simone writing and Day Dale Eaglesham doing the art, The Last Ballad of Beta Ray Bill with Erica Schultz writing and Nelson Daniel doing the art, and Warpath by Doug Wagner with Juan Gedeon doing the art. So this whole thing is, it's Marvel Zombies, it's black and white, and red. You get it, right? Um, yeah, this is pretty cool. Some new mutant stuff. All right. Yeah. Keaton likes Marvel Zombies. So he's always excited for more Marvel Zombies. And then the last book for the week, Batman 89 Echoes, one of six. I got one for me and I got one for Blaze. I figure if Keaton reads ours on one set, I can pick his up later on. This is the sequel to the previous Batman 89 comic written by Sam Hamm with art by Kinones. Um, at least the art is the same as the first Batman 89 as opposed to the Superman 78, which had a new artist that I wasn't as big a fan of as the first artist. I do like Joe Canone's art on this book quite a bit. I think that the writing was a little weak on the first miniseries. It just wasn't as good. Uh, so I'm hopeful that as good as Superman 78, it was still fun. It just wasn't as good as Superman 78. I'm hopeful that this time around, that this is equal to um, Superman 78. Which is a, a tough one, a tough one to go for. Ooh, it looks like he's got this is very much Madonna. This is very much Madonna. Which was a big rumor back in the day that Madonna was going to play something in one of the Batman movies. I can't remember the Joker's daughter, I think is at the time what they were gonna call her. Um I can't remember what the what the whole gist was, but I, I'm pretty sure pretty sure she was going to play like Joker's daughter or something. I don't remember. But Madonna was heavily rumored to appear. And that looks very much like he's patterning that that character after Madonna. Um, and. Oh, 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 he's all beat up. He's all beat up. Uh, OK, so 
That's this. Three ninety nine. In case I didn't say that. That's it for this week. Enjoy the videos. Like, subscribe, notify. One day I'll get back to reviews, and you'll see them again. I don't know when that'll be. Uh, I'll talk to you guys next week. Goodbye.